Nathan is overweight, so he decides to eat healthy, eat healthily in order to lose some weight. He plans to lo lose 5 kg in the first month, 4 kg in the second month, 3.2 in the third, and so on. Assuming that he is successful at improving his diet, how much weight in total will he lose after a long number of years? Okay, so let's look at the uh, sequ uh, series sequence. So, so basically, he starts with five weight of loss of five kg, and then he wants to lose four kg. Then he wants to lose three point two kg, and he wants to continue this way for a number of years. Okay, so what's the sequence here? Well, this is not decreasing in a particular. It's not decreasing by takeaway, it's decreasing by multiplying. So let's do, to see the ratio, so let's do 4 divided by 5 on a calculator. So this is 4 divided by 5 equals 0 0.8. Okay, so that's 0 0.8. So to confirm whether it has it's the same ratio, let's do... 3.2 divided by 4. 3.2 divided by 4. So 3. Point, sorry, 3.2 divided by 4, which is 0 0.8. So this is decreasing in the same ratio. That means if you multiply 4 by 0 0.8, this is 4 and 4 times 0 0.8 is 0 0.3, uh, sorry, 3.2. So basically this is decreasing by 20%. He, is, he has planned to decrease his weight by 20%. So 10% is 0.5 if you want to do it without, if you want to do this, if you want to check whether this R 0.8 is right, 10% is 0.5 so 20% is 1 kg. Okay, so again, 10% is 0 0.4, 20% is uh, 0 0.8. So 4 take away 8, 4 take away 0 0.8 is 3.2, and so on. So in the next month, if you want to, next uh, month, if you want to write the next number in the sequence, 3.2 times 0 0.8. So 3.2 times 0 0.8 he wants to lose 2.56 kgs this is 2.56 and again you can check this 2.56 divided by 3.2 would be 0 0.8 okay so what do we know so we know a is phi and r is 0 0.8 Okay, and you want to find S infinity. So this is a new formula. So let me explain the logic of this. The formula for S infinity, the total weight after any number of years or a large number of years would be A divided by 1 minus R. So basically, logically, you can understand as you keep decreasing these numbers by 20% or you multi keep multiplying by 0 0.8 there, there, is going, there is going to be a time where this decrease is, is going to be uh, zero or it can't be uh, negative so basically as this is decreasing you will reach a stage where you will have no uh, or Nathan cannot decrease his weight okay so this is basically what is a a is phi divided by i'll show this in a uh, in a different way so this is 1 minus 0 0.8 which is phi divided by 0 0.2 phi divided by 0 0.2 is how much phi divided by 0 0.2 is 25 kg Okay, so the total weight he can lose is only 25 kg. He can't lose more than 
25 kg of his body weight so if you if you look at this pattern okay so if you remember this sequence will follow this formula tn is a times r raised to n minus 1 okay if you want to find the nth se nth term of the sequence you are going to use this formula where your a is phi so tn in this case is going to be phi times 0 0.2 0 0.8 raised to n minus 1 so let me show this on a calculator to show you slowly this will approach to zero so this is my graphic calculator so if you go to table and if you enter this formula which is phi times 0 0.8 raised to instead of n i'm going to put this x minus one okay and then go to set i'll start from one to say 50 just to show you so this is the sequence in the first month he lost 5 kg the next month he lost 4 kg 3.2 kg 2.56 and slow. and can you see as it goes this is going to approach zero okay so now this is almost zero this is never going to be zero this is this is 0 0.012 and this is 9.67 times 10 to the power negative 3 so this is almost 0 so beyond so let me show you so in the ninth month so let me show you in the third month he lost 3.2 okay 2.56 2.048 1.6384 and so on and slowly it has it's almost this is 0.8 roughly this is 0 0.7 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.2 and now it's almost zero okay so slowly and if you add the total of this the total weight that he's going to weight can never be more than 25 so the maximum weight he can lose is 25 kg